Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters. Today I'm going to be using the Paper Craft Society Box 19 and the card I'm making is inspired by Sam from Mixed Up Crafts. She made a 6x6 version of this aquarium card and I'm going to make a 5x7 version. Now my card when it's folded flat will be, uh, it'll fit into a 5x8 envelope that I will make using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. If you'd like to make this card but you want it to fit in a 5x7 envelope then if you look in the description below I'll leave measurements for a 5x6 card that'll fit into a 5x7 envelope. Okay so here you can see I have my stamps and dies and I've prepared all my little images there in my little platter on the table. I've also printed out some of the um, papers that came in the kit. Now, when you're a Paper Craft Society um, subscriber, you can download their papers and I printed them up in an A4 configuration rather than A5. This is the stencil that you get in the kit and I use that to do my sand image, you know, on the bottom of my tank. These are little glass beads or bubbles that we got in the kit and I just store them in this container for ease of use. So you can see here I have all the pieces to make our aquarium out. As I said, I have all my little bits fussy cut as well as I have them on some acetate. And my acetate pieces here, they're a lightweight acetate and they're about a quarter of an inch wide by three inches long. And then I can cut all them to size. I have my little treasure chest here and this I'm going to stick on to my sand bank but you'll see here I have a piece of acetate with some of those beads or bubbles on them. I want it to look as if this is the bubbler in my aquarium but at the end I am going to take those off that and I'm going to stick them onto the back of the actual um, aquarium itself. I think it gives a more realistic look even though this isn't realistic. So I have a piece of card here and it measures five by seven and this will be the back of our aquarium and it'll give us an inch at the top of the aquarium to stamp our sentiment. I recommend you stamp your sentiment on the top of that and on the back if you want um, to put a little verse on the back of that. I do that before you assemble the card. This piece of pattern paper measures four by seven and this is going to be the back of our little aquarium so it has the look of under the sea just like my little aquarium that we have here at the house. I love the imagery that was put on the papers that came in this kit. There's a beautiful um, page of just lovely shells and then we got a couple of papers with different backgrounds and I think that these uh, they just look lovely I'm delighted with um, with them and the downloads that you can get they print up perfectly as well okay so I have two orange strips here this orange strip is a half an inch wide by the length of my paper long so it's just over 11 inches and I put double sided tape on the back of that and I also have this piece, which is a quarter of an inch wide by, again, the same length with double sided tape on that. And that's going to be for the top and bottom of our aquarium. I have this piece of acetate. It's a lightweight acetate and I recommend using as light a weight as you can. And this piece measures four inches by nine and a half inches. And we're going to be scoring that acetate later. I have two sand coloured strips of card and what I've done is I have marked these. I have cut them at three quarters of an inch by seven and a half. Then I've marked up um, a half an inch on each side and then from that mark I've used the stencil to give this image of sand, you know, wavy sand. And you can use all the different, there's four different sides. They can be used for waves or for, you know, your sandbanks. And you can see here then I cut along my pencil mark and I cut down at the side because I don't want the sides of this to be any taller than the side of my orange strip there that's going to be along the bottom. So what I've done is I've just cut along 
the pencil mark using my scissors and then once I'm finished doing that I'll take a little eraser and I'll rub out any pencil lines left behind but I think this gives um, a nice impression when you look into the card into our aquarium then I'll just fold back the little tabs at the side and then those little tabs will stick onto our acetate and we can then use these to prop up our little images, our fishes and our submarine, etc. Or whatever images you use, you can stick the acetate then behind them. I have my acetate in my scoreboard and I'm scoring it on the long side at a quarter of an inch, one and a quarter, eight and a quarter and then nine and a quarter and this will give us quarter inch tabs at the beginning and the end of our acetate and when we fold these they're all mountain folds those two tabs will stick down onto our white card and that'll give us our image of our our aquarium I just love it I think it's so cool especially using the stamps these um, fish stamps and dies and because it's acetate we'll be able to slide everything over and fold it flat so it'll go into an envelope there'll be a little bit of bulk because of the images that you put inside but it should fold and go into in my case a five by eight envelope but if you make the smaller size it'll fit into a five by seven envelope so now I'm going to stamp down my sentiment across the top and I'm going to put it near enough to the top and near enough to the middle. And I'm going to use some die cut jellyfish and a shell. I'll stick them around the top because it's not a real aquarium. So, you know, we can still embellish it as we like. So I've put my double sided um, sticky tape. Um, on my little tabs my quarter inch tabs and I'm going to then stick them down onto my white card and I'm using a really strong this is like a red liner tape but it's blue it's just by another manufacturer and um, it's a really strong acetate and once we have that in then press down always press down on your double sided tape it just sometimes the pressure actually makes that stick better I've got my patterned paper here now and I have put some double sided tape again on the edges of that and then glue in the middle to stick that down. I'm going to pop in my little sandbars across there. And then once I have that one done, I'm just making sure that that will fold perfectly and it does. I love the look of it. I just think it's so cool. And then I'm going to put my second sandbar in. So again, it's just a matter of taking off the double sided tape, stick one sidebar sandbar in one side and then take off your double sided tape on the other and pop that one in as well. Now, with the uh, bottom of our aquarium, I am using this strip of orange card and I've left it long so that you can then trim it yourself because it's better to fold these around the curves of the acetate than cutting it. <clears throat> if I cut that to size, it wouldn't fit properly. So I recommend you do this. Leave a little bit excess on the start and that way once you pop it along the top there and the bottom, you'll have excess over as well. And then you can just trim them off so it's nice and neat. Now, I didn't stamp anything on the back of my white card. You can see just there, but I have a sentiment stamped out and I'm going to add some of my leftover little images onto the back of the card. You'll see that in the photographs. So now I'm going to start um, popping in all my little images. I'll pop in my submarine that's on some acetate. And I just feed it in there, kind of use my fingers to see how much excess I need to cut off. I'll cut that off, then add a bit of um, double sided tape to the bottom so it sticks behind our little sandbars. And I'm not going to go through filling the whole thing because I sat here chatting with my daughter on um, 
WhatsApp. We were video chatting. She was making cards over in the Netherlands. I was assembling this card and video recording it as well. And it was just, you know, sometimes I'd stop and I'd be chatting. So I edited a lot of that out and have speeded up adding in what I've put in. But you can see there I've added in loads of really lovely things beside the submarine i've added in some fishes and seahorses and i've put in a crab with googly eyes seaweed coins anchors it's just chock-a-block with images so folks that's my aquarium card i hope you've enjoyed this video i'm going to leave you now with some images of the card we've made and you'll see here that my treasure chest has the air bubbles at the back rather than on a strip of acetate and you can also see how i decorated the back of the card too if you liked my video i hope you'll give it a thumbs up and if you're a subscriber thanks for subscribing and if not you might consider clicking on the bell icon down below and you'll be notified when i post another video you can find me on facebook instagram and twitter and until the next time stay safe thanks for watching Bye for now.